Hello. Now I'm going to share my screen because I want to do, it's basically a learning by doing, but I'm recording it. I'm not going live immediately. It's screen one that I'm going to share. Good. Now here, I'm actually in the process of uploading a video right now. So I'm going to open a new tab here for YouTube because what I want to check is okay i'm going I, I do a number of channels so i'm checking here uh, maybe you can't see it because i've got the camera on so i'd better because i can't i can't determine where my window appears on the screen so what i want to do is turn the camera off so uh stop video okay so i've stopped the video so I, you should see the full screen so up here on the right hand side of the youtube window when I click on, on my picture, on my profile, I can select the account that I'm using. And because I do a number of channels, um, it gives me the option. It shows me the other channels that I am admin on. But I'm staying on the Lily because that's where I'm looking. And now when I click here again, I can look at my channel, which is now the Lily channel. So actually, if you put in... Uh, YouTube Oz Lily, you will come to my channel, even though up the top here the address has still got the numbers and letters, this weird code. They've introduced what they're calling handles, and my handle is Oz Lily. You can see that here, that's the name of my channel. And so if you type in the at sign, like you have in an email address, at and the Oz Lily, you will come to my channel, which currently looks like this. And I suspect I need to do some updates, but I'm working on a lot of things at the same time. So step by step. Now, what I wanted to show you here. Okay, now, because I went here to go to my channel, I'm on my channel. And along the side here, I've got my videos and show more. And across here, I've got my playlists. So what I'm interested in right now is the playlists. And you can see by when you go into my channel, I don't know how it looks when you just come to my channel, but because it just depends on what link you use, if you came directly from a video or from my channel link. If you put in the Oz Lily, YouTube Oz Lily, you should come to, to this page, which is basically like my homepage for YouTube. And this is my intro video, which starts playing automatically. So there too, I figure I need to update it. So you have the option here to add a video, give it a title, also a text. And that's what appears here. And that uh, comes up as my introduction. And then you have a number of, you have the option. If you haven't done anything, then there'll probably be nothing here. But I have a number of playlists, which you will see when I click on there, I'll show you, but this is how it is set up at the moment. And you make it look like this when you click on, when you're on your own channel, you have the option to customize your channel, right? And you can manage the videos. So I'm showing you, this is about the channel customization. And what I actually wanted to show you was the Women's Federation and the playlist, because these are, my playlists here. So I'm going to switch here to my Women's Federation channel. Now you see, it still looks the same because I went in as Oz Lily and I need to now go to my channel, which you can see by the logo up here is Women's Federation. This is a picture at the top of the Women's Federation. It's from a meeting in Bratislava in 2016. And here you can see the handle at WFWP minus Europe. So the channel name is WFWP Europe with a space in between. And the handle, so if you just type in YouTube at WFWP minus Europe, you will come directly to this page. Even though up the top here, it's still got this funny address, but it, actually I can show you if I type in YouTube slash WFW 
P minus Europe. Let's see what happens. Okay, it gives you the video. It gives you the haha. Okay, but I wanted to put it in the address list, not in the search list for Google. But it, anyhow, you will get there. It's a couple of extra steps. WFWP YouTube. So you have the um, the link here. But what I really wanted was okay. Now you can see it up the top here because that's where I thought I put it in the in the address list. So it, I really wanted not to search. That's the function that. Gee, Google changed that years ago, that the address field at the top was now a search field. But what I wanted to do, I wanted to put in the address. And you can see, maybe I didn't put the, I think I did. I'm going to try it again. So youtube.com slash at WFWP minus Europe is the Women's Federation channel. And I wanted to come without the search. If you put it in here, you'll find it with two steps. But I wanted to go. W, um, YouTube. What if I just put at WFWP? Okay, it's already there as a because I've already searched for it. So it's got it in the memory. So it's already looking. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> oh, because it was dot org. Okay, this is the website for Women's Federation. That's not what I wanted right now. New tab. So you're, this is learning by doing, right? So now I'm going again. YouTube dot com, right? Slash at, you know, that's it. There, at WFWP. Okay, I'm just going to type it because it gives me the playlist already. WFWP minus Europe. Space. Okay, because there's nothing else, right? So that's what I've put it into the address field. But because I'm not on a, an incognito, it remembers that I have already searched for this. And I got there. And here I am directly at the Women's Federation YouTube channel. Okay, so we are at the YouTube channel. And the same thing, this has been set up with particular playlists through this customized channel which you only see on your own channels. You won't see it when you go to somebody else's channel. So when you go to this channel, for example, you should not see this customized channel, but on your channel, that's how you'll see it. And this is how it has been set up with the various playlists. This particular playlist is called Women's DMZ Peace Zone Project. And these are the videos that are in that project. And you can just click on play all and it will just go through and keep playing all the videos in this list. So that's the advantage of a playlist. You can just turn it on and just play them one after the other. And here are all videos and here are other playlists. And I've also set it up connecting other WFWP uh, channels. So this is the link to the Italian channel, the British channel, the Australian channel. So let me show you. I'll go to the Australian channel and I have clicked on my list, but I want to go to WFWP Australia. So I had to click on there again to come to the channel. And I see you also have playlists. You've got lists here. So what I'm curious about, the issue I was dealing with was videos for children. So let me click on this video. And I can't see which list you've got it in. This is Women's Federation for World Peace Australia and Introduction of International Service Projects. So I'll... When I want to save this list for Women's Federation Europe to my list, this action is turned off. Let me show, I have to, you see this? This action is turned off for content that is made for kids. Learn more. So this is what I wanted to share with you to learn more. 
what she made for kids content to comply with the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, COPPA, and other laws. So maybe I don't know if this is just maybe Europe and Ireland and not Australia or not America. But anyhow, this is how it comes up for me. That's why I'm pointing it out. To comply with the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act and other laws, certain features may be restricted or turned off for content that's set as made for kids. So we can watch that video together. Um, I'll do that without recording it because when you go, well, can you see it made up? Well, does it even come up for you? At the video level, these features include autoplay on home, cards or end screens, video watermarks, channel memberships, comments, donate button, like, okay, so these are the things that are excluded, uh, probably, donate button that the children can't donate, likes and dislikes on YouTube music. At the channel level, these features include channel memberships, notifications, posts and stories. So what is made for kids content? According to the FTC's guidance on the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, video is made for kids if children are the primary audience, primary audience, right? Children are the primary audience is made for kids. Children are not the primary audience, but the video is still directed towards children based on factors such as the subject matter of the video, whether the video has an emphasis on children's characters, themes, toys or games, and more. I'm going to explore that. What does this more mean? And learn more about determining if your content is made for kids and take a look at our frequently asked questions on the topic. So that's what I'm wanting to do here. So I'm going to click on that in a new tab as well. And now we're going to look at YouTube channel owners. Is your content directed to children? So this is US government. So perhaps it's YouTube International. I don't know. Maybe this doesn't come up in Australia. Um, I'm surprised that it comes up here in Europe, but my language is set for English, even though my location is European Union. So some things for me are determined by the European Union laws. So is your content directed to children? Under COPPA, how do I know if my channel is directed to children? Since the FTC and New York Attorney General announced their September 2019 settlement with YouTube, okay, for violations of the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act rule, we've heard that question from channel owners, sometimes called content creators. If you're a channel owner who shares content on user-generated platforms like YouTube, read on for FTC staff guidelines. So, I'm not going to go through this whole thing on this video because I haven't done that. As I said, learning by doing, I'm showing you what my situation that comes up. I'll do my research separately. The frequently asked questions about made for kids. Let's have a look. How long is this video? Nine minutes. Okay. We got a lot of questions on the made for kids video. Isn't this what the YouTube kids app is for? How does this impact gaming videos? What if children watch my video, but it's not meant to target kids? Hi, I'm Lauren, the head of family partnerships at YouTube. I'm here to answer your latest questions about our new audience setting on YouTube. Okay, so I'm going to um, look at that, do my research. I'm going to watch this video. I suggest you do too, if you have access to it. And if you don't, you can get back to me or um, I'll probably do some follow-up. And what I wanted to show you was that I cannot add, because the way it's set up, apparently, I cannot add your videos to my playlist. So I am very curious what the, uh, how the Australian um, situation is, because I guess it's different. So, and when you tell me to change my playlist settings, I don't see where to do that. If you know how if you can tell me how I would be very grateful because I see you have actually got your playlists 
and uh, the videos are apparently some of them set as made for children and that does not work for me on my Austrian European WFWP YouTube channel. So that's about it for me now. I'm going to upload this but probably not share it widely because I don't think it has that much added value until I have done my extra research. So that's the end of that. I stop my share and I'll get back to you. Have a great day.